Hello students, myself Dr. Rupali B. Goyal, Assistant Professor in Civil Engineering Department, SPIT Vassar. Today I am going to cover topic of laying and testing of sieber, which is included in uh, BE Civil Engineering 6th semester for subject of Water and Wastewater Engineering having subject code 2160604. So there are various steps involved in uh, laying of sieber that are listed here. First is setting out work, second alignment and gradient. Third, excavation of trench, timbering and dewatering. Fourth is laying and jointing of sewer. Next is hydraulic testing of sewer. Without testing of sewer, you cannot make it in operational uh, condition. And the last, if all the tests are uh, uh, done okay, then you can go for the back filling. And then after, you can start with the operation of actual sewer. So now, uh, one so by one, is, we will setting uh, out work. Uh, check so setting out work is steps. nothing, but it is the, also called as the ground tracing. So it is the process of laying down the excavation lines. Uh, ground ke upar excavation line mark karna hai. And also you have to mark the center line on the ground before actual excavation work is started. So generally uh, before uh, this uh, setting out work, L section that is called as the longitudinal section of the sewer lines that are prepared. And uh, first you have to mark the position of manhole on ground. And it is general practice to lay the sewer line between the two manholes at a time. So manholes first you have to mark. The setting out in the sewerage is carried out starting from the tail end and processing uh, upward. So generally uh, this tail end means uh, last end, means suppose uh, the sewer that is going to uh, uh, discharge its wet wa waste water in treatment plant. So you have to start from the outfall sewer, the last sewer which is discharging waste water into sewage treatment plant. So the advantage is that uh, if you are starting from the tail end, the tail end can be utilization useful for the utilization of the tail sievers even even during the initial period of construction that's why the work is progressed from tail end to upward end now for setting out method there are two methods used so in the first method the center line of the sever may be marked on drawing on ground down pay uh, so here in this figure you can understand this is the center line of sever which is shown in the plan and as per that it is marked on ground then after the uh, offset line is offsetted from the center line. So you uh, the next line that you have to mark that is called as the offset line. So here this offset line is shown. So this offset line is generally marked at the distance of suppose this B. B is the width of sewer. So this B by 2 plus 0.6. B by 2 plus 0.6. That much meter that you have to add in and you have to again mark another line that is generally called as the offset line then pe pegs are driven along this offset line so uh, here you can see this is the position of pegs so pegs are at the interval of 15 meter or uh, more than that uh, that can be marked then temporary benchmark should be established on the offset line so here temporary be benchmark is generally uh, marked on the offset line at the interval of 200 to 300 meter to carry forward the levels so this is the first method uh, uh, which is uh, using the peg and marking the offset line and uh, once this offset line is marked the actual ex excavation work can be done with reference to this uh, uh, center line and here at one position uh, this uh, uh, soil uh, this particular area is used to uh, store the excavated soil that you can dump on the other side so one side is bag and uh, another side is uh, space for excavated soil now in the second method two vertical posts are driven into the ground so here you can say this one vertical post and second vertical post these two are inserted in the ground at the distance which is known to you to, uh, from the center line so uh, this is your center line that is marked and uh, apart from this these two are provided at the ground now the uh, one horizontal rail which is known as the side rail so here in this figure you can see this is your sight line that is containing your sight rail is fixed between these two posts at some convenient height above the ground level and such posts are erected at a suitable interval and the cord is uh, drawn between these two so this kind of cord this this cord it will represent your center line uh, and uh, accordingly you have to go for the center line work so uh, in, uh, in this figure you can see this vertical post this is called as site rail so these two are very important for uh, setting out work as well as uh, they are used for the next process that is called as alignment and gradient 
so to uh, have the proper alignment and to have a proper gradient of fever you have to utilize two uh, equipment that are called as boning rod so in this figure uh, the boning rod is shown and uh, second is sight rail so here this is generally called as sight rail so boning rod uh, or a traveler it is a vertical wooden post which is suitably shot with the iron shoe so generally at the bottom the iron shoe is provided here at the bottom just to uh, put it at the invert of the sever and it is fitted with the cross head so here in this figure you can see both the uh, boning rod and sight rail so uh, for doing this alignment and gradient uh, modified levels of invert because you are knowing the invert level as it is mentioned in uh, your particular drawing so basically this bottom of the sever that is generally termed as invert lever so this invert they are generally known to you so that modified invert as per the vertical length of your uh, uh, this boning rod you have to mark on the l sections and these modified levels are marked on the side rail so this is your horizontal side rail over which you can mark your modified levels and thus an imaginary line which is parallel to your uh, proposed sever line it is obtained so complete uh, uh, imaginary line you can obtain with the hel help of this boning rod so this shoe this iron shoe it should touch to this bottom level and uh, this modified level that is marked at the top so in this figure uh, so here you can uh, easily you can uh, the this make uh, length of the boning rod this is generally uh, prepared as per the uh, length equal to the height of the side rail above the invert level of the sever and the, this boning rod which is modified level which is marked over here in the cross head or side rail uh, that is to be maintained by touching this shoe of the boning rod at the invert of the particular sever and this boning rod can move uh, to and fro in the trench so as, uh, so as to give the invert line on the uh, prepared bed of the sever so here uh, in the plan you can see both this this is the cord showing the center line then this side rail uh, that is connected with the now boning here uh, on this whatever I have discussed uh, the actual uh, figures are shown so these two uh, levels that are to be kept at uh, two positions and uh, with the help of this uh, level uh, you can uh, mark all the modified level over this side rail and by adding actual invert level plus the height of the boning rail and this way you can proceed further uh, for the laying of sever so here uh, this is the actual figure of uh, side rail and boning rail so next is after uh, doing the ex uh, setting out work and alignment uh, and uh, gradient uh, once it is achieved the next is to go for the excavation of trench so if some turn road pavement is there then it is to be removed and this excavation work can be done either manually uh, by labor or by using some uh, machinery that is uh, already uh, you are knowing that is power shovel boom or bucket excavator etc so this actual excavation work is to be carried out and generally this trench is excavated between two manholes at a time and then sever is laid between them so the width of this uh, trench at the bottom is generally kept 15 cm more than the diameter of pipe so the diameter hai usse thoda aapko extra space rakhna padega and uh, this uh, here you have to fill it with the bedding material and this way you have to go for the lay so next is timbering of trench so that is a part of uh, excavation only so when the depth of the excavation trench it exceeds 1.5 to 2 meter and excavation is made with the side vertical it becomes necessary to support the side just to avoid the uh, that collapse of your side uh, by the sheeting and bracing so there are various methods of timbering which supports your uh, sides spray bracing box sheeting vertical sheeting runner sheeting and sheet piling that uh, you have already learned in second year subject of building construction so here uh, figures are there uh, that are showing uh, for this excavation how this uh, uh, timbering work is done to support your uh, particular excavation so here it is in the form of horizontal and vertical sheeting so various timbering methods that can be applied just to avoid uh, this collapse of the side of your excavation trench next is dewatering of the trench so here also uh, during excavation if depth is excessive in that case uh, yeah, if the area is in the uh, high water table region or some water logged areas are there 
तो वेरी प्रॉब्लमेटिक थिंग्स में आ रहा है वॉटर ओजिंग इन द ट्रेंच नीचे न साइड्स भी पानी आवा माँडे एंड देट विल बिकम वेरी बेड साइड फॉर वर्किंग सो इन सच केस टिम्बरिंग इज प्रोवाइडेड इट विल बिकम लूज एंड ऑल्सो इट विल कॉलेप्स सो वी हैव टू अवॉइड दिस एंट्री ऑफ वॉटर इन साइड योर एक्सकेवेशन सो फॉर दैट डिफरेंट मैथड्स आर यूज एंड ऑलरेडी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेमेस्टर यू आर हैविंग ऑल दिस मैथड दैट यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न दैट इज डिच इज एंड सम वेल पॉइंट सिस्टम शेलो वेल सिस्टम डीप वेल सिस्टम वैक्यूम मैथड इलेक्ट्रोसमोसिस मैथड सो दीज आर ऑल द मैथड्स दैट इज टू बी दैट आर टू बी अपलाइड डिपेंडिंग अपन योर साइट कंडीशन नाउ नेक्स्ट इज द फोर्थ पॉइंट दैट इज लेइंग एंड जॉइंटिंग सो नाउ एक्चुअली यू हैव टू bring your uh, sieve uh, that sieve pipeline on the side and you have to actually put it with the help of this machinery so smaller uh, pipeline of size less than 40 cm that can be directly handled by masons masons ka help leke aap usko directly excavated part mein dal sakte ho but larger pipes they cannot be uh, lowered with the help of uh, uh, masons so that should be lowered by passing the ropes around it and machinery may be required so here uh, this machinery that is uh, uh, connecting with the rope that is used for uh, inserting this uh, particular sever in the excavation the sever lines are laid from the lowest point with their socket end facing upward so generally in uh, sever this is your socket end so in this socket end the spigot end is inserted it is facing up upstream uh, in this way spigot of each pipe can be easily inserted in the socket of already laid socket and and you can move further so here uh, some actual pictures of uh, all this uh, laying part is shown how the machinery with the help of which you can lay your particular and here this is manually uh, how the laying can be done next uh, after laying uh, hydraulic testing of sewer is to be done and uh, before uh, putting it into service it is very essential to test it for different criteria so first is test for the straightness and obstruction so straight hai ki nahi koi obstruction hai ki nahi that you have to check water test uh, water leakage to nahi hai smoke test and air test these are the test to be carried out so first we'll discuss the test for the straightness and obstruction so if uh, suppose uh, this sewer line is uh, already laid and then after this uh, sewer line is to be tested then you have to place a mirror at one end one end per mirror suppose i end par tumhe mirror mukti do and the lamp at the other side and a side par tumhare lamp mukwana hai if the pipeline is straight so full circle will be observed so if it is some uh, obstruction is there then that full circle may not be obtained so you may come to know that the obstruction hai so that you have to clear out in alternate method what you can do you can pass a smooth uh, sorry smooth ball of diameter 13 mm less than the internal diameter of the sieve And, uh, and then after if there is no instruction in the form of yarn or uh, mortar projecting through the joint the ball uh, this ball will roll down the invert of the pipe and emerge at the lower end agar ithi tumhe ball pass karyo to without any obstruction it may reach to second end so that way uh, you can check the straightness and if any obstruction is there then you have to clear that obstruction next is leakage uh, test or water test so this is used to check whether there is certain leakage in the sewer or not so we were uh, the sewer pipelines uh, their sections are tested between the manhole to manhole under a test pressure of about 1.5 meter of water head a 1.5 meter water head per tumhare check karwan chhe first of all lower end of the sewer is plugged and the other end is uh, filled with the fitted with an air outlet pipe with stop cord and then pipe is filled with water second end you have to fill with the water and water level in the funnel is allow, allowed to rise 2 meter above the invert level invert level of the upper end and water level is noted after 30 minutes 30 minutes pachi tumhare pacho water level observe karna chahiye uh, some quantity of water may be lost and water loss should not be more than 15 ml for small diameter and 60 ml for large diameter of uh, pipe for uh, centimeter diameter Uh, pipe per 100 meter. Then you can say it is uh, uh, safe from the leakage point of view. So here in this figure, uh, this uh, arrangement of this water test that is shown, uh, how this it is filled and how uh, this water level is to be maintained. Next is smoke test. So generally smoke test is carried out for the drainage pipes which are located in building, and uh, smoke is produced by burning the oil waste, tar, 
पेपर एक्सेट्रा इन द कम्बसन चेम्बर ऑफ द स्मोक मशीन स्मोक मशीन में स्मोक जनरेट करो द पाइप्स आर एप्रूव गैस टाइट बाय द स्मोक टेस्ट विच इज टू बी कंडक्टेड अंडर द प्रेशर ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम ऑफ वाटर मेनटेन फॉर ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन मिनट्स जो पच्चीस एम एम वाटर प्रेशर पंद्रह मिनट्स भी जो तुम तो मेन्टेन कर सको तो यू कैन से दैट इट इज फ्री फ्रॉम एनी डिफिकल्टीज रिलेटेड टू स्मोक और गैसेस सो हियर सम मोर फिगर्स आर देर हाउ टू जनरेट द स्मोक एंड हाउ टू मेजर इट सो नेक्स्ट टेस्ट इज एयर टेस्ट सो जनरली दिस एयर टेस्टिंग इज रिक्वायर फॉर द लार्ज डायमीटर ऑफ सीवर वेर सफिशियंट क्वान्टिटी ऑफ वाटर इज नॉट अवेलेबल सो फॉर दिस पाइप सेक्शन इज सब्जेक्टेड टू एयर प्रेशर ऑफ हंड्रेड एम एम ऑफ वाटर बाई हैंड पम्प एंड इफ द प्रेशर इज मेनटेन फॉर सेवेंटी फाइव एम एम द जॉइंट शेल बी एज्यूम दस वाटर पाइप बट वेन द ड्रॉप इज मोर देन ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम द लीकिंग जॉइंट शुड बी प्रेस्ड एंड ट्रीटेड टू एंश्योर द वाटर टाइटनेस सो बाई डूइंग सच काइंड ऑफ वाटर टेस्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ मशीनरी वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट वेदर वाटर लीकेज इज देर और नॉट सो इट इज सिमिलर टू नॉट सिमिलर टू वाटर टेस्ट बट इट इज टू फाइंड आउट द लीकेज दैट वी आर यूजिंग वाटर दैन इट इज कॉल्ड एज वाटर टेस्ट एंड इफ यू आर यूजिंग एयर दैन इट इज कॉल्ड एज एयर टेस्ट नेक्स्ट इफ ऑल द टेस्ट आर कंसिडर टू बी ओके दैन यू हैव टू बैक फिल योर पाइप लाइन द बैक फिलिंग द एक्सकेटेड अर्थ इन द ट्रेंच द अर्थ शुड बी लेड इक्वली ऑन आइदर साइड ऑफ द सीवर इन द लेयर ऑफ फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर थिकनेस एंड ईच लेयर शुड बी प्रॉपरली वाटर एंड वेल ड्रेन एंड देन बैक फिलिंग इज नॉट डन इमीजिएटली आफ्टर कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ सीवर तुरंत नहीं करना है हाव एवर द अर्थ फिलिंग अबाउट द क्राउन ऑफ द सीवर पाइप शुड बी डन केयरफुली क्योंकि दैट इज द टॉप पोर्शन एंड इट इज टू बी डन बाई द हैंड शोवेलिंग इन द लेयर्स एंड यूजिंग द सिलेक्टेड अर्थ एंड इट इज डन आफ्टर सेवन डेज फॉर फ्री कास्ट पाइप एंड इट इज जनरली डन आफ्टर फोर्टीन डेज इन केस ऑफ कास्टिंग सी टू सीवर्स आफ्टर कास्टिंग द सीवर सो हियर द बैक फिलिंग that is shown in the figure so thank you very much i hope that whatever contents i have shared that will be useful to you in your examination thank you very much